a video about JavaScript or Python, when one of my subscribers commented that I, that there's way money, way more cool things to learn about in Scratch. Guys, I always try to read your comments and listen to what you suge you're suggest. So today's video is still going to be about Scratch, but believe me, it's going to be cool. As always, so far all the games we've done in Scratch were 2D on a flat game field. If you've watched all my videos, you probably remember the video about 3D and how to make 3D objects in Scratch. If you haven't, I recommend you to watch it too. And today, I'll teach you how to make a 3D game world. And how to make from a 2D game field to a more realistic 3D game field. So first, let's create our new project. Now let's build our 3D, 2D maze, which will later be transformed into the 3D world. Your maze can be anything that you like. It might even be different colors for different parts. Now let's add a very simple program to our maze. What it does is just make it disappear when we start our game. Because we will be playing in 3D, right? Now let's create a new sprite. Our person or game character who will be walking inside. And here's the first trick. We don't need to draw uh, the real character now. We just need a very small pixel that plays this role for us. Make sure it is centered. Now let's add a program for the sprite and start it with the same simple command that makes it disappear when the game starts. Then let's add our broadcast command that will send a message to another sprite to calculate distance. Now I'm going to add a simple loop that will be used to control our sprite and move it around. But after every move, I want, I want to add the same broadcast to calculate all the distance again and again every time when the sprite changes its position. Now it is easy to see that our simple program works and we can move our pixel person around in our 2D maze. Let's just remove our ghost effect by changing it to zero. Now let's move forward and, and start to calculate our distances. To do this, we need to create one more sprite. It will have the same costume as our person sprite, just, just pixel, only let's make it a different color.
and let's build our program for the sprite. So once we call broadcast distance, this block of commands will be executed. Here is one very, very important detail. You need to click on this checkbox, run without screen refresh. If you do not do that, your program work, won't work because after each single calculation, it will be re refreshing the screen, which takes a long time comparing to math operations. Here we need a couple of different variables and variables uh, and a variables list where we are going to start our distance values for different angles. Let me explain the idea of this function. Let's say this is our character and he is facing in this direction. We simply decided that that his field of view is about 96 degrees. So, we're going to we're going to calculate the distance to objects around our person for every single angle from minus 48 to 48 and we do it with this block of commands so just imagine that we send the step counter for every angle and write it down on paper Here's one more important thing. If you don't see in the drop down the right option, direction, it might be because you didn't select the correct sprite from the next drop down. So be careful here. So as you see, once my character is moving or turning around, it, it calculates new distances again. Hmm, something is wrong when I turn my person left. It doesn't count distances. Let's see what is wrong. Um, oh, sure, I'm missing my broadcast here. Let's fix that. Okay, we're very close. The only thing left that is left is to draw our 3D world based on these distances. And for this purpose, we're going to use simple physics. The longer distance, the longer distance the object, the smaller it is, right? Let's do this.
That's it. Let's check out how it works. Cool, right? Now see if you can add monsters and zombies to your game to hunt on. So don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next video.